Welcome back to the channel with your boy. Today I bought not only one, but I got two Impalas. One is a 96, one is a 94. I'm gonna be bringing y'all footage of both of these clean Impalas, low miles, very clean. My guy Scoop, I hit him up and said, yo, man, I need some footage of some clean cars. He said, man, I got you. He let me come up here to his crib and shoot both of his beautiful cars. So what I need y'all to do is, first of all, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and let me know how y'all like both of these 90, 94 and 96 Impalas. I appreciate it, thanks. What's going on, guys? My name's Sam. Everybody around here knows me as Scoop. Uh, one of the B-Body Fest guys, one of the uh, Philly Inc. guys. Uh, enjoy these cars. And uh, my man Bruce wanted to come out and get a little video of them. Uh, I started off with a 94 Impal SS. I bought a 96 two years ago. I went and sold that 96. And ever since I sold that car, I wanted another 96. So just recently, about a month ago, I acquired another 96. Um, we'll take you around these cars today, show you what we got done to them. Uh, this one appears to be stock. It's not as much. My 94 doesn't look stock, but it's more stock than the 96. So we'll walk you around. We'll show you what we got done to them. Uh, and show you what some cleaning bottles are for Philly Inc. I have a question, right? What made you fall in love with these cars? If you give us, you know, what, what got you started in them? So I grew up in Lawndale, uh, Tyson and Rising Sun Avenue. Uh, there was a guy around the corner who had a burgundy one, 96. Uh, I was young when they came out. I was born in 91, so I was five years old when I first started seeing the 96 was around. Um, but it was the coolest car I've ever seen. And then uh, I go to Rising Sun Avenue, and every once in a while you'd see one cruise up and down the block. And then you'd see him in movies. Uh, all about the Benjamins. Obviously, that one's a clone, as everyone knows, <laughs> but still, that car was very, very clean, and uh, you see Ice Cube doing his little burnouts in it and all that. Uh, and then you start seeing the internet. The guys got videos of him. Tim Allen had his LT496. He had two of them when he was coming up. Uh, he drove them all around Hollywood. And then just the look of this car coming down the road, it's the most sinister-looking vehicle there is. No nothing compares to it. It just looks mean with the turn signals in the middle and you just got your amber lights on and you're coming up there's nothing that beats it and uh it's one of the funnest cars to drive because you can't go to a gas station without somebody asking you that <laughs> you drop your black back plate down they go i haven't seen that in years you fill your tank up from the back you go to fill up in jersey they tell you're on the wrong side you say nah drop the plate <laughs> so I, I just love these cars it, it, it becomes an obsession it really does yeah a lot of people still have the passion for these cars and they were almost what is it 25 yeah 25 years yeah. close to 20 to about what 30 years or something yeah, like that yeah 94 uh, was the first year so we're, we're coming up on uh on 30 years 30 years and, and three years here, so 27 and, and, and 25. now i had another question are you big on colors you know the impala came in three different colors are you right. are you because you got you got two black ones here you got two black ones I only own black so are you i'm partial to black okay okay now, so also john moss when he developed this car in 92 when he came out with that original impala ss concept car he wanted it in only three colors black black or black <laughs> the original ad has that in there it says you can only choose three colors black black or black the car was made to be sinister and, and, and look mean and, and i think it looks meanest in black there's nothing like a clean black car. Super clean. Two super clean Impalas. 96 and a 94. Just beautiful cars.
modification done to it. Uh, the original owner, back in 2007, was a little fed up with only 260 horsepower. He didn't feel like it was enough. Uh, so we looked into some magazines, talked to a couple of LT1 gurus. Uh, what they came up with was start off on the intake, going with a 58 millimeter throttle body, high flow mass airflow sensor. Uh, in there, they got an outer rock manifold, uh, new heads, aluminum, uh, new lifters, everything's comp from there down, comp cam. Uh, we're going with outer rock headers to a high flow cap, so two and a half inch exhaust all the way out the back to boil them off. Drive train, he upgraded to a four inch aluminum. And then for the rear, he put 373 gears in there. Still gotta get a dyno. We don't know exactly what we're putting down in the wheels horsepower wise, but uh, we're gonna do that hopefully this year. And uh, maybe we'll update the description down below, let you know what we're putting down. How many how many miles is on the 96? This one has 22,000 miles as it sits. When the motor work was done, it was at 15,000 miles. 22 original miles. That's crazy. Now, what about the 94 over here? The 94 right now is a ship got 45,000 miles on it. Um, as far as engine work goes, 100% stock underneath, except for a cane and the air intake. Um, and then you got flow mirrors for 40 exhaust on the back. But she runs and drives. It's fun. It's a great daily driver. Uh, turns a lot of heads. But uh, this one definitely throws you back in your seat a little bit more. Now. Are you, will you be willing to let even one of them go or are you going to keep both of them or what you going to do with it? Now, I was always in the market for another 96 after I sold my last one. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I would keep this and uh, if the right offer came along for the 94, it, it, it would be up for sale. Okay. All right, I hear that. If the right offer comes along for the 94, it would be up for sale. Um, you have an Instagram page? I do. It's at Big Scoops Sneaks. His Instagram info will be down in the description. Like I said, um, you come with the right offer, you can walk away with a clean 94 Impala. Um, like I said, just hit him up. And look, money talks. But uh, we're keeping the 96 though. We're keeping the 96. Maybe on the 94, if the money is right, he said he'll let it go. But it's clean, man. This is clean. 21,000 miles, it's clean, man. And it was garage kept, right? Yes. Garage kept. washed three times in 25 years. <laughs> this is beautiful. This is a beautiful car, man. Two of them. And a lot of people don't know that the 94 was the first year. That's why the 94 has that little small mirror on there. And then we had the 95, of course. And then the 96 came with the floor shifter. And the digital the analog cluster that's crazy two of the two of the to me i say rare years the 94 and then the black 96 and then the green 96 is a rare one too but um he has two of them here can't be two As you can see, he even got the jacket that came with it when you ordered it back in 96. Certain dealers gave you a jacket when you ordered a 96 Impala. That's crazy. And I didn't even know that. That is crazy. That's crazy, man. True passion, man, right there. Dedication. True passion and dedication, man. That is crazy. That's crazy. Clean, super clean stock interior. No rips in the seat. Scoop, how many how many miles did you say was on this one? Uh, just under twenty two thousand, I think. Under twenty two thousand. That's crazy. Original BF Goodrich tires. That's crazy. Original tires on there. Super, super clean 96.
original hood. I don't even make this hood no more. The T these T85 headlights, right? T84 headlights. Can't get them no more. Just clean, man. Original SLP hood. It's crazy. Fully functional. I don't even. You can't even get this hood no more, man. Now you get it used, but '94 Chevy Impala. Custom tail lights. Clean 96, man. Man, scoop. This is crazy. Yo, this might be the lowest model car I've ever been in, bro. Yeah. Playing right as a B body. Yeah. I'm you ain't telling you. Jays? <laughs> huh? You didn't sit inside Jays? No, 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 no. I got to get footage of that one. They said it was 5,000 miles in, but this might have yeah, said he's just about to be at six. 6,000 miles. This might have been the low, the lowest miles ever out of all my years. And I, when I bought mine, it had 92? Okay. 92? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know I mean? She gets up and goes for an old girl. He you can tell the difference between the the, 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 the stock and the, uh, a sure. modified one. For sure. It's night and day. I drive that one now, man. It's like I think, what's going on? You know? <laughs> She's a little slow today, but nah, that one's got the original uh, 308s in it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Going to 373s, and then you upgrade a little bit. That's crazy. It shows. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. The rod's smooth, too, man. The rod's smooth. Straight through mufflers. I don't, I don't do the chamber ones. I, mm -hmm. I, I can't do chamber mufflers. As my ears got older, I realized chamber mufflers don't really uh, do it for me. So I like a straight through muffler. I hear you. It sounds good. That's crazy, man. Yeah, when I bore mine, it was at 89,000 miles. And I thought that was low miles. Yeah, like I said, that was, miles. yeah, that was, yeah. But you know, I ain't never been in nothing this low, man. I'm just, can I get it all in? Is it all in? Uh, it might come up. What is my 21? 21, 792. 792. That is crazy, man. Uh, 